Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have the man, the legend, the heretic, the war master for you guys to look at today. An awesome model that um, has been long overdue to be released and we've had the pleasure of completing this one for one of our clients. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Siege as a business, we are a character specialist. The team of 28 painters here at Siege, which is a full UK-based commission painting service. Uh, we paint from, a, from an above tabletop level all the way up to a competition entry level. Um, and that's what we do here as a business. If you uh, are interested in a character quote, because that's what we specialize in, all you need to do very simply is head to our website which can be linked uh, and found in the description of this video go to our website on that link and it takes you directly to the contact form which you can then select the drop down options on there and include a message with our model lists format fire that off to us to get the process started uh, without further ado we're going to dive into this video and have a look at this awesome model in more detail see you guys back in a sec so where do we start? This model is incredible to just right off the bat. Um, GW knocked it out of the park when they brought the new Abaddon model out. It's been in need of a model for a new model for a very, very long time. Uh, and I know that Ben, who's the artist who worked on this awesome character, had a great time working on him, really, really enjoyed it. Um, let's dive in and have a look at him. Obviously from the get go, very, very imposing. Uh, awesome, awesome amounts of detail. He's literally dripping in detail, the amount of things that is on his armor. Um, again, very, very defiant, stoic, pose there obviously commanding pose which is really really nice now this our client requested he be standing on an imperial fist so as you can see there's one on the trophy rack and also beneath his foot and uh yes uh, we haven't painted it as a lieutenant but i suppose you could say he is a lieutenant um so <laughs> um now from the get-go you can see all the areas of detail are fully highlighted and fully picked out we have not you know gone missed anything we've got absolutely lavish loads of time and attention on characters as we are a character specialist here at siege studios um you know, all the team here at Siege, all 28 of the painters, all paint to an above tabletop standard as a minimum and all the way up to competition entry levels uh, for, for their painting. And um, this is our minimum standard for a character. So what you see on this uh, video is our minimum silver level character. Uh, as you can see here, nothing has been left. All the edging is extremely crisp and super tight. Um, personal little bit of detail, which I love, is that Ben's done different types of ammunition on the belt feeds. Um, if we zoom right in here on the cape and on the cloth, you can see there's loads of little bits of extra sort of texture all added on there as well, just to show the fraying edges of that, that cape. Um, Moving around, obviously, you've got loads of colour in the skin on him as well. Loads of aggression and, and different colours put into his face just to show his mood. Um, I'd imagine he's probably not very happy right now. Um, and obviously, you've got Drachnoia in the sword there that's all been fully brush blended. Um, a lot of time taken just to blend that and get those transitions on there nice and smooth. Uh, and then move around, you've got those billowing flames, as you can see. And we just jump around the back here to the back of the model. We have obviously put the cape on. Um, but you've got obviously loads and loads of little bits of texture all added onto there as well. If we just get that to focus and zoom, you can see all the little bits of texture so that's painstakingly be put on there. Several colours glazed onto that cape as well, just so it's not just black. It has got some browns and reds and, and purple sort of hues to it as well, which is really nice. Um, you got obviously the, uh, the rear of the trace rack, all that gold work has been fully highlighted as well uh, with a nice amount of contrast on it. You've got the Talon of Horus here with a really cool, uh, kind of, not pristine, but it's got a bit of wear on it as well, which is which is what you'd expect from a weapon of its age and sort of prestige. Um, but a really, really cool model, as you can see. Very do dominant sort of model. I love the pose. Um, what is perfect next to uh, Gullum. And you could almost say that they were perfectly sort of posed to each other, which is uh, is something that GW are very good for. Um, you've got obviously the base as well, which has got loads of detail on it that's all been fully highlighted and picked out there in a lovely, lovely standard uh, and again this is our minimum standard for a character so this is a silver level uh, baden model um, we obviously paint characters to gold and also platinum uh, so if you are interested in any of those then obviously what you need to do is just go to the contact form on the website which is linked below uh, to take out a character commission with us as i mentioned we do specialize in characters that is something that we are you know very specialist in doing all the team are very proficient in painting characters to a very very high level as you can see here um, so this is an awesome awesome model uh, again the, the reds as well on the model what i really like about it is that they're not too vibrant obviously drachnoyen is probably the brightest on the hilt uh, where the kind of demonic face is but the belt buckle on that and the in inside of the cape is more of a brownie red which is really really nice um doesn't stand out too much in the black armor but it gives that sort of ancient look to the armor which is really nice 
all the trim on here as well has been painstakingly painted and glazed and with loads of different sort of color hues to it and obviously all edged as well uh, so that's just the trim the bone work on the various skulls that are all over the place uh, had a lot of time obviously on those just to highlight those respectively make them look as realistic as possible uh, but that's just Abaddon in all his glory an awesome awesome model I do hope you like it guys stick around to the end of this video we're going to see a little bit more of him and also find out about how to take out a character commission with us here at Siege see you guys back in a second so thanks for watching the video guys I really appreciate it ever so much and I do hope you like this Abaddon showcase video awesome model I know Ben had a great time working on him and uh, you know if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege we are character specialists we do specialize in painting centerpiece and character models the team of 28 painters here at Siege all paint to an above tabletop standard as a minimum and all the way up to competition entry levels uh, which you can see obviously in the quality levels which you offer on our website if you are interested in a commission the link to our contact form can be found in the description of this video all you need to do very simply is just click on that link follow obviously its progress to our website, go onto the contact form, which it's linking you to, select the relevant drop down options for your commission from the ones that are available. And then in the model uh, message section, then you need to include a list of models in our format, uh, plus any extra notations about sculpting freehand and extra bits and bobs, magnetizing, things like that. Fire that off to us to get the process started. It's very simple, it takes a couple of minutes and uh, we'll come back to you very promptly with a quote for your project. Um, if you are on here quite often, then we do advise you to subscribe to the channel because then you can keep up Stay with all the videos and everything we showcase like this video and um, drop us a thumbs up on the video because it always helps us out and finally drop some comments below are you loyalist or are you a traitor and a heretic let us know and uh, we're really really keen to chat to you guys in the comments thank you ever so much for watching the video guys i will see you on the next one take care of yourselves bye, -bye.